Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Francesca and today I will be showing you 10 ways in which you can use yoga blocks. First of all, let me show you that you have three lengths. So you have the first one, which is the long one. Then you have the medium height and the short one. And you can always use the blocks in different heights, depends on what you need. So let's start. In the first pose I want to show you is Sukhasana, seat position. So sometimes when we sit on the mat on a cross leg position, some people tend to round the shoulders and come forward. But if you place a block underneath the sit bones and come sit on the block, this might help you keep your spine elongated and feel the position easier. The second position is Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Sometimes we round the spine as we forward fold and we have difficulties to reach the feet. In which case, placing blocks underneath your sit bones might help make this position a little bit easier. So come and sit on a block, shift your sit bones forward, and then you can reach towards your feet, ankle or thighs, keeping both legs extended and shoulders relaxed. The next pose I want to show you is child's pose. Although this pose sometimes is used as a restorative one and as a rest pose, sometimes for people this might be uncomfortable, especially when we have our forehead lifted from the mat and our sit bones lifted from the heels. So in this case, you can always place a block underneath the forehead to support your head and make the position a little bit more comfortable for you. Next pose is going to be half split. So if you notice that you can't extend your leg and you tend to bend the knee, feel free to take some blocks and place them underneath the hands. This will help you to reach the ground without having to compensate in bending that leg and you can fully extend your hamstring. Same thing applies for forward fold Uttanasana. So if you notice that you cannot reach the floor or you don't want to bend the knees too much, you can always use the blocks. You can choose the height you prefer, place both hands on the blocks and allow the head to be very heavy. Maybe shifting the weight a little bit more on your toes and just let it go here. Next pose is Trikonasana. So same things apply. Sometimes we can't reach the floor with the hands and we tend to round our top shoulder towards the floor. We really don't want to get that, but we want to get the elongation of that side of the back. In which case you can use a block at the height you prefer. Place the bottom hand on the block and you keep extending, maybe sending the gaze up towards the ceiling as you keep the shoulder open and relaxed. In half moon as well, the block might help us keep the balance and keep the chest open as we look for elongation. So if you tend to go too much towards the floor and round here, place a block underneath the hand and focus on keeping the hip open and that elongation. Next one is camel pose. So in camel pose, you can always place the hands on your hips. But if you feel you cannot reach your toes or your feet and you want to go a little bit deeper, you can use always the blocks. So placing the blocks at the height you prefer, place the hands on the blocks and as you hold the blocks, keep opening through the chest, gently pushing forward with the hips and lifting the chest up. In down dog, sometimes we tend to round through the spine instead of elongating it. And this is due to lack of mobility in the wrist and the shoulder. So you can always take the blocks, place them underneath the hands and then enter your dumb dog again. And you will notice that you will be able to open through the chest a little bit more, pushing with the chest towards your thighs and elongating the spine. In pyramid pose as well, we want to keep the hips square and we extend that front leg. But maybe we are not able to reach the floor, in which case we can always use the blocks to extend the arms and reach towards the floor. This will allow you to relax the shoulder, the back and lengthen even more. Then we have revolved trikonasana, for which again, maybe this position can be a bit intense. So you can use a block, placing it underneath that bottom hand. And this will help you to hold onto the twist, finding the twist and the elongation as you keep both legs extended and the spine lengthening. And for the last pose, it could be hero pose. So coming to sit on the heels, sometimes it can be too intense for your quads. So you can always place a block underneath the glutes, making this position more accessible and comfortable. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find this helpful. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.